you have like, you know, peer to peer video conferencing it feels like a modern social network. Cubix helps communities release and manage their own social network. And we have examples of social networks. And then um, Intercoin helps communities release and manage their own community currency. So we've been running with Zach. Zach, you could talk about this like 10 years ago, we started Cubix. And it's really become maybe the only open source social network in the world that's a platform for creating community software. It's basically the only thing you can use right now. You could just, just like WordPress, you can install it on your server and you basically have a social network. You have like, you know, peer to peer video conferencing it feels like a modern social network. Here's an example of like a social network that people can have Andrew Yang, you know, the campaign. And so you want to connect all the people, the Yang gangs, right? And so basically what you do is you have communities and sub communities and they can all work together. So for example, you have here people profiles. And like Zach was saying, you can meet people, you can have common interests and skills and stuff like that. And you can contact them, add them to, you know, to your address book. You can also talk to them, share files, but importantly, you can connect and very much this can go through local servers. So what we're doing here right now is talking on the website. So you don't need Zoom, you don't need Facebook and it's running through local servers. I mean, by local servers, like for example, if you normally use Facebook or you use Zoom, it's going through their servers. Right. So it's going through like California or whatever. But imagine if you're in a rural village, your connection is not so good. Right. Mm -hmm. So no way are you going to be able to do like video conferencing like this on the site. So the idea is that imagine now that you have local computers in the village and you have Wi-Fi. Right. So we basically can run the entire software locally. And the only reason we could do that is because this is open source. So Facebook's not going to give you their source code for their back end. Zoom is not going to give you their source code, right? Because they're for-profit companies. But WordPress is an example of something that does give you their source code. So that's an example of the difference between running it on your website and running it like in Zoom. If you want to see more videos like this, click subscribe. And then remember to click the little bell icon so you get notifications.